I'd like to thank all the veterans that are working for Studnik Equipment. We appreciate everything that they've done for our country. And I think this is a, something that we should do every year. We appreciate all that you've done for us and especially all of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you all for your service. Thank you for the service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your service. We'd like to thank you for your service. I want to say thank you for your service. I want to thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Guys, thank you so much for your service then, and thank you so much for everything that you do for us now. Well, we'd like to do a shout out and a great thank you to all the veterans. We sure appreciate all the service that you do and for keeping our freedoms uh, where we need to be, especially at this time. Thank you very much, appreciate it. I have some family members who are veterans and I know what sacrifices you have made. So from my side, thank you very much for your service, uh, appreciate it. Uh, to all the veterans, their families, and those who have served or will serve, um, I offer my sincere thanks. From everybody here at Spudnik, thank you to all of our veterans that have served in the armed forces over the years. We thank you for your sacrifice and for everything you've done. To all the veterans, past and present, thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifices. I've always enjoyed the, the 4th of July. It's a, a good time to get together with family and friends, to get outside, go camping, enjoy some fireworks. Hopefully, it's a time also that we can think about and, and appreciate all of the freedoms that we enjoy here in the United States. Uh, both my grandfathers served in the military, one in World War II and, and one in the Korean War. And so I was taught from a pretty young age to appreciate the freedoms that we have and appreciate and respect those who have sacrificed so much for those freedoms. The last several years I've had the opportunity to travel to a lot of different places in the world. I've, I've been to China and Russia, I've, I've been in countries all across Europe, to Australia and, and to New Zealand, and I, I can tell you that there really is no other place in the world like the United States. Uh, there, there's no other country in the world that provides the opportunities for success and the freedoms that, that we enjoy here in the United States. And so hopefully this, this 4th of July weekend, no matter how broken we feel like our country is, no matter how frustrated we may be with the conflicts that are, are happening within our country right now, and, and really, no matter which side of those conflicts you've chosen to take, hopefully we can all take a minute and appreciate the freedoms that we do have and that we do enjoy. And especially to, to reach out to a veteran and, and express your appreciation for the sacrifices that they've made um, so that we can have those freedoms. So, to all you veterans out there, from all of us here at Spudnik, thank you. Thank you for your, your sacrifices that you have made and the sacrifices that you're still making so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we do.